So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and I have a seriously cool little easter egg video for you guys on Blood of the Dead. This is a brand new easter egg step found, shock and denial has been solved and the easter egg is making steady progress and you can catch the easter egg hunt on my channel so make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications. But this is a very cool segment from this step in particular which is an amazing hidden secret room inside of the wall. Warden's Ritual Chamber. This is an amazing room that contains so many cool details and of course we have a specimen, a corpse, who was killed by electric chair who pulled the switch. And by pulling the switch we see parts of the Warden's house roof crumble and the lighthouse changes colour. This is so friggin exciting that we're finally making progress on the Blood of the Dead Easter egg quest and we finally have this step done. So if you guys want to try this out in your game and race up to the easter egg steps all you need to do is you need to get the spork it doesn't have to be the golden spork just the regular spoon which you get from completing that little quest and if you don't know how to do it then i'll link you down below in the description but once you have that you want to make your way up the stairs in the warden's house by the lmg and just simply knife the wall to the left and you're going to see some scratch marks that are going to be on that wall now you need to play on until about round 15 onwards where you have a brutal to spawn in that does a electrical slam attack and you're going to bring a Brutus up here to the staircase and he's going to do an electrical slam which is going to break this wall revealing the ritual chamber. It is such a cool room. There's a tiny little red orb that we pick up as well which you place in the map in the spawn room and it's going to spawn a bird in afterlife somewhere. I just thought this ritual chamber alone was so satisfying to look at and to just look at all the little details going on in here. It's a very detailed little chamber and starts to give a bit of the backstory on who the warden really is. This is his ritual chamber. This is such a cool step to the Easter egg. I'm loving the slow motion as well. And I just wanted to bring this to you so you guys are up to date and to show you this amazing secret room. But let me know what you think of it down below in the comment section. And if you found this exciting, then leave a like rating as well. And remember to subscribe for that Blood of the Dead Easter egg hunt later today. I'll also be posting a Easter egg tutorial on how to complete Voyage of Despair very soon, so make sure you check your subscription boxes for that one if you're not already subscribed. But thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.